change direction for each punctuation mark. Now entertain conjecture of a time when creeping murmur and the pouring dark fills the wide vessel of the universe. From camp to camp through the foul womb of night the hum of either army stilly sounds that the thick sentinels almost receive the secret whispers of each other's watch. Fire answers fire. And through their pallid flames, each battle sees the other's umber face. Steed threatens steed, in high and boastful neighs, piercing the night's dull ear. Change direction for end of verse line. Piercing the night's dull ear, and from the tents, the armourers accomplishing the knights with busy hammers closing rivets up, give dreadful note of preparation. The country cocks do crow, the clocks do toll, and the third hour of drowsy morning name. Proud of their numbers and secure in soul, the confident and overlusty French do the low-rated English play at dice. Change direction at the end of each line and somewhere within each line. Proud of their numbers and secure in soul, the confident and over lusty French do the low rated English play at dice and chide the cripple tardy gated knight who like a foul and ugly witch doth limp so tediously away. Sit and whisper to myself. The poor condemned English like sacrifices by their watchful fires sit patiently and inly ruminate the morning's danger and their gesture Sad, investing, lank, lean, cheeks and worn, worn coats, presenteth them unto the gazing moon so many horrid ghosts. Moving freely, only pronouncing the vowel sound. I'm losing the will to live. Can't do that anymore. Sing the speech. The morning's danger and the gesture sad, investing lankly cheeks and war worn coats, presenteth them unto the gaze and boon. So many. Horrid ghost, oh now, who will behold the royal captain of this room band, walking from watch to watch, from tent to tent, let him cry. Praise and glory on. Oh.